everyone, welcome to Madame Two Swords here in London. We are here for a very special reason, for the Star Wars experience, because today we are doing a very special Star Wars yoga mix. It's a Star Wars yoga marathon, because the two Star Wars yoga adventures are epic. And I wonder whether you can make it right the way through to the end. Let's go inside and get our Star Wars adventure beginning. Woohoo! everyone in the Star Wars experience at Madame Two Swords in London. Come on, let's go and have a look. Today we're going to train like Jedis, so we can be strong like Jedi warriors and focused using the Force. We begin in hero pose, coming down onto your knees. Kneel yourself back, then crisscross your fingers and turn your hands inside out. Reach your arms up above your head and if your shoulders have come up into your ears, drop them down a little bit. Yes, now we're in hero pose. Now Jedis use something called the Force, an energy inside them, and we're going to tune into that energy right now. Come to stand in mountain pose, all the way up, feet hip distance apart. Bring one hand on your tummy, and one hand on your chest. Close your eyes. Use the Force and listen. Notice the sounds in the room around you now. Now tune in to the room just outside the room you're in. Maybe a corridor or hallway. And now see if you can notice the sounds outside of the building you are in. Opening your eyes, lowering your hands. Well done, everyone. We're now tuned into the force and we're going to bring that into our Jedi warrior poses. Start by reaching your arms up to the sun and draw power from the sun. We turn to the side and then bend our knees as we slowly draw our arms all the way down to bring power from the earth. Then we walk our hands forwards a little bit and our feet back and we come into our little droid pose, R2-D2, who's a bit like a little dog. We lift one leg all the way up behind us and we step it just behind our wrist, turning our back heel in a little bit. Then getting our feet super duper strong, we see if we can come up to stand, holding our balance. We turn to the side and reach our arms up to the sky, coming into our Jedi Warrior One pose. Breathe into your warrior pose. Then turn your toes to the side. Open your arms wide and bend your front knee even more, coming into your Jedi Warrior Two pose. Looking over your front hand into the distance like a super strong Jedi. 
Then we take our arm up in front, our back hand down to our long leg, and we point our lightsaber to the sky, going choo! We straighten our front leg, bring our arms up together as the force awakens. And then we turn to the other side, bending our front knee, reaching our arms all the way up, coming into our Jedi warrior one pose on the other side. Yes, breathe into your warrior. Turn your back toe to face the front and open your arms wide, bending your front knee even more, feeling strong in your legs. Now look over your front hand into the distance where you are going, feeling strong. Slowly take your back hand down to your long leg and reach your top arm up like you're pointing your lightsaber to the sky. Straightening your front leg. Turn your toes to the centre and jump them together. Back in our mountain pose, feeling strong. This time bring your hands to your heart. Feel clear in your mind, feel strong in your body, focused and strong. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Look, I'm in the Millennium Falcon and look who's here with me. Yes, it's Chewbacca. Ah! Yeah, I'm obviously not getting the pronunciation right. Anyway, how exciting is this? We are now going into our amazing classic Star Wars yoga video. It is none other than A New Hope, episode four. It's warp speed ahead, Chewie. Let's go. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin and today we've got a special story. That's why I've got funny hair. We're doing George Lucas's Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Today we have a special mission to defend the Rebel Alliance against the evil Galactic Empire. Time to get ready for our mission. Let's start with our shoulders. We roll our shoulders round and round. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two. We put down one, we put down two. We go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now we do our necks. We look over one shoulder and over the other, over one, and over the other. We look all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. Then we go around in a big lovely circle and the other way. Ooh. There we go. Now to get our hips open. We reach up high, keep your bottom on the floor and we put our hands in front of our legs. Now can we walk our hands forwards? One, two. Oh, let's try that again. One, two. And again, one, two. Well done, everyone. Let's now come into hero pose because today we're proper heroes. Roll all the way forward onto your knees and sit down on your heels. Now, take your hands forward and separate your feet and sit down in between your ankles. Yes, now if that's a bit pinchy on your knees, you can always come back to sit on your heels. Take your hands in front of you and crisscross your fingers. Turn them inside out and lift them up above your head. Yes, into hero pose. Now for that evil galactic empire. We stand up. We take our legs wide. 
we bend our knees and bring our hands up into our lobster or goddess pose. And let's do a big lion face to be scary. Ready? Very good, everyone. Time to get going. Now, the Death Star is the Galactic Empire's space station. Bringing your hands above your head, make a space station shape. The Death Star, taking your arms out wide, is nearly finished. And after it's finished, it will be powerful enough to completely destroy a whole planet. Crisscross your fingers behind your back. And after three, we're going to go boom. One, two, three, boom. Standing all the way up again. Oh, when that happens, it's going to be scary, scary stuff. But we're joining the Rebel Alliance, who are Jedi heroes. Turning to the side, bend your knee. Take your hands in front of you and hold your lightsaber and lift them up above your head like a very, very clever Jedi warrior. Hmm. Now, our Galactic Empire is ruled by the tyrannous and horrible Emperor Palpatine. Standing on one leg, can we make our fingers all craggy and our toe all craggy and pull a silly face? Well done, everyone. Now, Emperor Palpatine has a Sith apprentice. He's called Darth Vader and he wears a big black mask. Rub your hands together, make them really hot and put them over your eyes, making a mask. Darth Vader does some very funny breathing. Crisscross your fingers, put them under your chin, take a big breath all the way in and lift your elbows. Now, make a Darth Vader sound to the sky. Can we do that again? Breathing all the way in and all the way out, Darth Vader sound to the sky. One more time, breathing in, breathing out, Darth Vader-like. Darth Vader has just captured Princess Leia. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. Take your legs round to one side and your hand onto your knee. Take your other hand round behind you. Look over your shoulder. Look back at the front and say, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then we take our legs round to the other side. We take our other hand onto our knee and our other hand behind us looking over our shoulder back to the front. You're my only hope. But before Princess Leia was captured, she managed to steal the plans to the Death Star. She climbed in the secret room. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Then she tiptoed really quietly. Shh, 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 shh. She stole the plans and crawled out the escape hatch. Coming onto all fours, reach with one arm, reach with two, reach with one leg, reach with the other leg. Then when she was safely through, she wiggled on her tummy, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And she hid the plans in a droid called R2-D2. Tuck your toes, lift your bottoms up to the sky and let's make an R2-D2 noise, ready? Princess Leia stood up and she told the droid all about the plans for the Death Star. At the end, she did a special message. She leant all the way forward and she said, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then she crouched down to lock in the plans. You're my only hope. Our friend R2-D2 managed to escape. Hands down, toes back, lift your bottoms to the sky. But poor Princess Leia was arrested and captured by Darth Vader. Hands up! She was put in a prison cell. Cross one leg over the other and take your arms out wide. Take one arm under the other, like scissors, and wave with the underneath arm. Then swizzle your fingers round and sit down. Oh look, she was all tied up. Let's try that the other side. Unravel yourself and cross the other leg over. Bend your knees and let's scissor the other arm underneath this time. 
Wave with your fingers and swizzle them round, sitting down. Oh no, poor Princess Leia. But luckily, R2-D2 escaped in an escape pod. Sitting on your bottoms, let's hug our knees. Tuck your chin in like you're squashing a tomato and then rock and roll backwards and forwards. Ready? Whee! Woo! And whee! He escaped to the desert planet of Tatooine. On the planet, of Tatooine, our very lovely friend, Luke Skywalker, lives on a farm. Standing up, let's do a little farm dance. Diddly 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 dee, diddly diddly dee. He lives there with his step-uncle and aunt. One day, Luke Skywalker was looking for the new droid delivery. Bring your thumbs and fingers together and have a look through your special cosminoculars. He hoped that those droids would be arriving soon so that he could go and buy one. They needed some extra help on the farm. <gasps> Here they are! He got into his land speeder. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. Start your engine. We're going over to one side. We're going over to the other side. We're going down a hill. We're going up a hill. Luke Skywalker bought two droids. He bought one called C-3PO, who looked a bit like a penguin. Standing up, take your feet out wide and your hands down by your side and waddle around. Oh, yes, my name's C-3PO. Uh, what can I do for you? But with C-3PO was the very special little droid, R2-D2. Remember, from Princess Leia? Hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom to the sky. Do -do 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 Back at their house, Luke took them into the garage to give them a clean. He used his cloth and used his breath. <sighs> he cleaned their ears, rubbing your ears from the bottom to the top, and their faces. Oh yes, getting them all nice and shiny. <gasps> but what was this? He activated the message from Princess Leia. The droid R2-D2 showed him. Hands down, tuck your toes and lift one of your legs. Can you make it bend at the top as well? Yes! <gasps> Suddenly, the message from Princess Leia started in front of Luke. Standing up, she said, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <gasps> Ooh, what's this, thought Luke? Who is Obi-Wan Kenobi? Could it be old Ben Kenobi, who lives in a cave on the other side of the mountain? <gasps> All of a sudden, there was a great big boom, ready with a monkey jump. One, two, three, boom! <gasps> oh no! Luke went running outside. Run, 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 run. Oh, his home with his uncle and his aunt had been destroyed. Now there was nothing for Luke to do. He had to go and seek out Obi-Wan Kenobi. In his land speeder, he headed across the mountain, hands down by your sides, mountain pose, pressing your feet into the ground and close your eyes. On the other side of the mountain, he came to the cave. Jump your feet wide, lift your hands above your head. He knocked on the door and the door opened. Coming down to your knees, take one leg out to the side, lift your arm to the sky and take your other arm onto your extended leg. The door opened and there stood the legendary Jedi Knight, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Put your hands together. He says, use the force, Luke. He closes the door. Come back to two knees, take your other leg out to the other side, lift your arm to the sky and close the door. 
Once inside, Obi-Wan Kenobi explains to Luke about the Jedi way, the Force. He teaches him how to fight. Step one leg forwards, one leg backwards. Reach up with your lightsaber. Open your arms wide, coming into a strong Jedi warrior pose. Then reach your lightsaber up to the sky and crisscross your fingers behind your back and bow all the way down. Wow. Luke then sees that Obi-Wan Kenobi needs to know the message from R2-D2 and he shows him the droid. R2 opens up. Hands down, take your toes back and lift up your other leg, cocking it over the end. <gasps> Obi-Wan Kenobi sits and strokes his beard as he watches the special message from Leia. They need help. They need to get to Alderaan, which is Princess Leia's planet. And to get there, they're going to need the help of the smuggler, the space pirate, Han Solo. They head straight to the crazy cantina bar, where there are some aliens playing music. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom. Lift up your bottom and let's do a crazy alien dance. Ready? Do, 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 do. Wow, well done everyone. They sit across the table with Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca, who looks a bit like a giant gorilla or a Bigfoot, standing up. And the floor. They agree to take them in the Millennium Falcon, which is Han Solo's spaceship, to Alderaan, which is Princess Leia's planet. Time for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind you. Let's count down from five to blast off. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Take your legs out wide. Oh, we're rumbling one way. Oh, we're rumbling the other way. Oh, we're rumbling forwards. Oh, we're rumbling all the way back. Lifting your legs to the sky. Wow. Floating through space, they head to Alderaan, Princess Leia's planet. But before they get there, they are met with a crazy, awful meteor storm, crossing your legs, sitting up, and pitter-patter on your faces, all the way around, and on your chests, and on your legs, and on your arms. Oh no, this is no meteor storm. This is Alderaan that's been destroyed by the Death Star. There was only one place the heroes could go, to the Death Star. They used the special steering sticks holding onto your foot to aim themselves, aim the Millennium Falcon at the Death Star. Doo, doo, doo. Take the other ankle now and do it the other side. Doo, doo, doo. They came into land. Now they needed to find Princess Leia, who must be on here somewhere, being held captive. The problem was, they looked a bit normal and they needed to look like the stormtroopers. So they found a couple of stormtrooper outfits standing up and wiggle inside them. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Han Solo and Luke were ready to march with the other stormtroopers. They find Princess Leia's cell, leaning all the way forwards. Take your hands in front of you and make the backs of your hands meet. Open the door. Yeah. And there was Princess Leia, hugs all round. Yay! They'd rescued her. Now, while Han Solo and Luke were rescuing Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi met Darth Vader. And they were challenged each to a lightsaber duel. Now was the time for this enormous lightsaber duel. Take one leg forward, one leg back, 
I reach your arms to the sky. Open out, letting your arm come forward and your lightsaber come forward as well. Reach all the way up to the sky and then take your hands behind you as you bend all the way forward. Remember, as Obi-Wan had taught Luke in his Jedi fighting skills. Then we come all the way up. We turn the other way. We lift our lightsaber up to the sky. We open it out long. We bring it up to the sky again. And we crisscross our fingers behind our back as we come down humbly like humble Jedi warriors. <gasps> oh no. Darth Vader manages to defeat Obi-Wan Kenobi. Zoom. But in doing this, in this sacrifice, he lets the others escape. They need to get the Millennium Falcon out of there, arms out wide, spinning side to side. Quick, let's escape! But they are chased by the Galactic Empire's TIE fighters. Arms out wide, take one hand across to the opposite foot and reach your arm to the sky. And the other side. Can you go faster? Luckily, Han Solo manages to land, coming down to your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. <sighs> For now, they are safe, and they get to study the special secret plans to find out where the weak spot is of the Death Star. This is what Luke must shoot and fire at if he can destroy it, if he's going to destroy it once and for all. Time for the fight, the Battle of Yavin. Luke gets into his X-Wing, his jet aeroplane. Coming up onto your knees, your arms out wide. Come down onto one hand and wave at the sky. Bring one foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. And use the force by closing your eyes. Coming onto your knees again, we take our wings out wide, come down onto the other side, wave at the sky. Bring that foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. And remember the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi, the ghost saying, use the force, Luke. Sat behind Luke is R2-D2, the droid, his co-pilot, helping him fire and find his aim. Take your thumb out in front of you and put your other finger on your chin to keep your head steady. Then follow your thumb as you lift it up, down, side, not moving your head, just your eyes, side, and all the way around. He gets the Death Star in his sight and gets ready to fire. Take your legs out long. Take two fingers and put them in between your big toe and your second toe. Hook them round your big toe and lift up your special gun. Put your finger and your thumb on top of your toe and reach towards your other toe. Take aim. One, two, three, two. The whole thing explodes with a big boom. Coming up onto your toes, ready? One, two, three, boom! Luke has done it, but he needs to get out of the way before his jet plane gets ruined by the meteors that are coming from the Death Star. Lying on your back, lift your legs up to the sky as you fly your jet up forwards and up. Luke manages to escape. He sits up, full of elation. Yay! He managed to destroy the Galactic Empire's Death Star. He was a hero, a Jedi hero. And it was time for him, Han Solo, and the droids, and Chewbacca, to receive their gold medal of bravery at the very, very wonderful ceremony with Princess Leia standing up. They all bow to receive their special medals. And for now, they can all rest easily. For the first time in a long time, they all sleep, lying all the way down. Take your legs long and your arms down by your sides and close your eyes. 
It's been a very, very tough time. And now, this wonderful rest, it comes so happily to all of those who have been so brave, especially you, for being brave cosmic kids, for using the force, the force of good against the dark side. Keep that goodness inside you, that love. Take it wherever you go and the world will be peaceful. Breathing slowly. Time to wake up again now. We wiggle our fingers, our toes. We hug our knees into our chest and we roll to our sides, opening our eyes, coming up to sitting with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just as we started with Namaste. Ready? After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our special Star Wars episode. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Now I'm here in Jakku with none other than BB-8. Hello, BB-8. Ah, oh, this brings us to our final video of our Star Wars mix. It's The Force Awakens. Well done you for doing the Star Wars Marathon and I'll see you afterwards. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way, and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, and bringing our hands together at our hearts, and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin, and today we've got a special adventure. We're doing Star Wars The Force Awakens, Episode 7. That's why I've got my Ray hair. Now our story begins 30 years after the last remaining Jedi, Luke Skywalker, has disappeared. He's gone into hiding. Let's come into our hiding pose. Coming onto your knees, everyone, and tuck yourself up into a tiny little hiding ball. Shh, no one will find you here. Shh. Now the First Order has risen from the evil Galactic Empire, slowly lifting your body up, your arms coming forward all the way up and to your hips. They want to destroy the New Republic, which is protected by the Resistance. Let's blow a raspberry to the sky. Well done, everyone. Stepping one leg forward and tucking your back toe, lifting yourself up. Now, Princess Leia is in charge of the resistance. She's the general, bringing your hand to your head. She is looking everywhere for her twin brother, Luke Skywalker, turning your body to face the other way and bringing your other hand on top now. Where are you, Luke Skywalker? We need your help to defeat the First Order, lowering your hand to your hip. Princess Leia sends her best pilot, Poe, in his X-Wing aeroplane to Jakku to find a map to find Luke. Coming into aeroplane pose, down onto two knees. Take your arms out wide. Drop down onto one hand and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you, going all the way to Jakku. Coming onto two knees again, Arms out wide, drop down onto the other side and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you, lifting up your hip. He finds the map and he hides it in his droid, BB-8, who's like a little roly-poly egg. 
Sitting on your bottoms, everyone. Hug your knees. We're going to be roly-poly eggs, just like BB-8. Now tuck your chin in, and after three, let's roll all the way back and all the way up. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Whee! Wow, well done. Just as they're about to leave, Kylo Ren and the stormtroopers spin into land on Jakku. Coming up to stand, take your feet wide and your arms wide and begin to spin. They're looking for the map as well. They want to find where Luke Skywalker is. Letting yourself come to a stop. Now, Kylo Ren is the son of Han Solo and Princess Leia, but he was turned evil by the leader of the First Order, Snoke. Let's come into pirate pose to be Snoke, standing with your feet together, coming up onto one leg, making your fingers all craggy and your face all scrunchy like you're a bad Snoke. Arrgh. Standing nice and tall. Now, Kylo Ren wishes to be as powerful as his grandpa was, and his grandpa was Darth Vader. Let's do a couple of Darth Vader breaths. Crisscross your fingers, put them underneath your chin and lift up your elbows to breathe all the way in. Here we go. And a big Darth Vader breath to the sky. And again, breathing in. Darth Vader breath to the sky. And lowering your arms to the side. He even wears a black mask, just like Darth Vader did. Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers capture Poe, the pilot, and they tie him in a knot. Let's come into knot pose. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Now bend in one of your legs and stretch your arm up high. Reach it all the way forwards and wrap it around your leg. Now see if you can take your other arm and take it around your back to find your fingers. Now you're in a right knot. They tie him up in a knot even tighter on the other side. Let's switch sides now. Stretching your legs, bring the other leg in. Take your arm up to the sky and reach it all the way forwards. Now take it round your, uh, your leg and wrap your other arm round your back to find your fingers. Oh, help, I'm in a right knot. And so Poe tells Kylo Ren where he's hidden the map in BB-8, my droid! <laughs> Luckily, BB-8 has escaped like a little roly-poly boat coming into boat pose. Sitting up on your bottoms, everyone. Bring up one foot, bring up two, bring up one hand, bring up no hands. BB-8 zooms along, swerving from side to side. Pew, pew, pew. He's going to miss the laser shots coming from the First Order. But then he finds a friend. Stretching your legs out long, sitting up tall. It's a scavenger girl called Ray. Now, Ray is very good at fixing things. She goes to old junkyards and finds old telephones, like this one. Let's pick up our telephone, everyone. Ray twiddles all the knobs, twiddling your toes. <laughs> She presses all the buttons until it works again. Hello. Yeah, it's Ray here. Yeah, fixed it. OK, bye. Popping the phone down. Ah, BB-8 knows that all will be OK with Ray. Meanwhile, back at the village, Stormtrooper FN2187 is marching around. Come on, everyone, standing up. Let's march around like stormtroopers. <laughs> the problem is, Stormtrooper FN2187, he doesn't want to be a stormtrooper anymore. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like killing people. So he sets Poe, the pilot, free. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide, coming into your star pose. Together they escape on a stolen TIE fighter. Let's do windmill pose. Sweeping your hand all the way across to your opposite foot and reach up with your top arm. Pew! Now switch sides, taking your other hand across, reaching up with your top arm. Pew! And let's go a bit faster. Pew! 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 Coming all the way up to stand. Now Poe doesn't think that FN2187 is a very good name. 
so he decides to call him Finn. But oh no, they crash land, jumping into Crouch. Boing, boing, boing. Finn manages to wiggle out, coming onto your tummies, everyone. Hands onto your shoulders, and then wiggle, 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 all the way up. He looks around everywhere for Poe, but he can't see him. So he tucks his toes, lifts his hips to the sky, walks forwards, and then rolls up to stand. And he runs away. Quick! Then he meets Ray and BB-8, and the three of them squat down together, bending down and snuggling your arms in between your legs. They need to miss the shots coming from the First Order. All of a sudden, they spot an old spacecraft that they can escape on, coming into rocket pose, standing with your feet wide, your arms wide, bring your hands above your head. It's the Millennium Falcon. They jump on board, jumping down to crouch. Ready? One, two, three, boing! And then they count down to blast off. Sitting on your bottoms, take your hands behind you. Feet flat, knees bent, and then we're gonna lift our hips as we count down from five to blast off. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Sitting on your bottoms, taking your legs out wide, take your arms out wide, and we begin to spin around and around as the Millennium Falcon lifts off the ground into the stars. They've done it, they've escaped, woohoo! But up ahead is a tractor beam. Coming into your tractor beam pose, lying on your backs, everyone, stretch your arms out wide and lift your legs up to the sky, pointing your toes. The tractor beam is coming from a much bigger spacecraft and it draws the Millennium Falcon in towards it, bringing your knees in towards your chest, everyone, and giving them a nice big hug. <gasps> It's Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot, Chewbacca, who's a bit like a giant gorilla. Coming into gorilla pose, standing up, take your feet wide and gently thump your chest as you make your Chewbacca noise. <laughs> Chewbacca and Han Solo used to own the Millennium Falcon, so they jump on board, jumping down to crouch. Here we go. Boing! And together with Ray and Finn and BB-8, they fly together. Standing tall with your feet nice and long and your arms down long. Take them out wide as we soar up into the stars. Woohoo! As they fly, BB-8 decides to show them the map he's been hiding. Coming into your little dog pose, down onto your hands and your knees, tuck your toes, lift your bottom to the sky. Now reach one of your legs up to the sky and then give it a little waggle. Yes, BB-8 shows them the map he's been hiding, but some of it looks to be missing. Hmm. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed, everyone. Now. Han Solo explains that Luke Skywalker went missing because he was sad that one of the Jedis he was training turned evil and joined the dark side. That was Kylo Ren. Now they decide to land on Takadana to find a lovely little wise alien lady called Maz Kanata. Let's come into a squat pose, taking your feet wide, lifting your bottom up and snuggling your arms in between. Now Maz Kanata wears goggles on her eyes. So let's bring our thumbs and fingers together and put our goggles over our eyes. Now Maz Kanata tells them that she can get the map back to Princess Leia and the Resistance. While they're there, lowering your hands down, Ray thinks she can hear voices. Let's give our ears a rub, all the way from the bottoms, rounds to the tops. Hmm, she decides to go exploring to find out where the voices are coming from. Coming up to stand, everyone. Ray tiptoes. She goes down the stairs. She goes into the basement and she goes into a secret room. And there in the secret room, she finds a box. Let's come into box pose. Sitting on your bottoms, everyone. Joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and bringing your head down towards your heels. Ray opens the box up, lifting up your head. Ooh. 
and inside she finds a lightsaber. <gasps> the lightsaber that used to belong to Luke Skywalker and before him, Anakin Skywalker. Rey picks the lightsaber up out of the box and holds it up. But as she does, she starts to feel all hot and dizzy, like she's really had a bad dream. Ooh. So she puts it back in the box Ooh. and she closes the lid, lowering your head all the way down. Then she stands up and she runs out into the forest. Quick! Finn decides he'll hold on to that lightsaber. Ray might need it someday. All of a sudden, the First Order attack Takadana with a big kaboom. Coming into a kaboom jump, everyone. Crouching all the way down. After three, we're going to do a big kaboom in the air. Ready? One, two, three, kaboom! Oh no, it's Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers. They're still looking for BB-8 and the map. But Kylo Ren manages to capture Rey. Coming up onto your knees, take your arms wide, everyone, and wrap yourself up like you've been caught. Help! He takes her back to the Star Killer base where he ties her up to a chair. Sitting on your bottoms, crossing your legs, and take your hands behind you, crisscrossing your fingers. Press your knuckles back down into the ground, opening your shoulders. Now Kylo Ren tries to use the Force to read Rey's mind so that he can see the map that BB-8 showed her. But Rey doesn't let him because Rey blocks him. She can use the Force as well. And Kylo Ren stomps off in a grump. Hmm. Then Rey uses the Force to tell the guard to untie her and leave the door open, which he does coming into door pose. Up onto two knees, everyone. Take your leg out to the side, your arm up to the sky, and open up the door. She escapes and she closes the door behind her. Two knees, take your other leg out to the other side, reach your arm up to the sky and close the door. Yes, she's free, coming up to stand. Now Han Solo, Chewbacca and Finn are rescued by Poe, the pilot. He's alive. Let's get into aeroplane pose, everyone. Down onto two knees, arms out to the side, drop down onto one side and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you going he takes them back to Princess Leia and the Resistance, where they all sit together, sitting on your bottoms. Together they make a plan to destroy the Star Killer base and to save Rey. While they're there, BB-8 finds a friend. It's R2-D2, Luke Skywalker's old droid. Let's come into our R2-D2 dog pose. Onto your hands and knees, everyone. Tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. The problem is R2-D2 has been frozen ever since Luke Skywalker disappeared. <laughs> Standing up, everyone. It's time. Han Solo, Chewbacca and Finn get back on board their spacecraft, the Millennium Falcon, coming into rocket pose. Standing with your feet wide, your arms wide, bring your hands above your head. Now slowly folding forwards, everyone. They silently float the Millennium Falcon down into the dock of the Star Killer base. As they stand up slowly, they find Ray! Yay! They're all back together again. Now they get to work planting explosives. Jump your feet together, folding all the way forwards to plant the explosives in all the low places. That's it. Now rolling all the way up. They reach up high to plant the explosives in all the high places. But all of a sudden, Han Solo sees someone that he knows. It's his son, Kylo Ren standing on a bridge, coming into bridge pose, sitting on your bottoms, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind you and lift your bottom up. This is the moment Han Solo must go and talk to his son. Standing up everyone, he stands before him and he begs him, please son, come home. You don't belong in the dark side, come back to your family. 
Kylo Ren takes his lightsaber and with tears in his eyes, he stretches forwards like he's going to give it back to him. But then at the last moment, he switches it on. He bends his knees and he thrusts it up into his father. <gasps> Standing up tall, everyone, lowering your arms all the way down, turning to the side. Han Solo falls from the bridge, rolling your head all the way down, folding yourself in half. No! And rolling all the way back up to stand. Chewbacca is so upset that he takes aim, stepping one foot to the side, one foot back, and bend your knee. Sweep your arms up and out. He fires, Pew! and he hits Kylo Ren. And then he sets off all the explosives in the Star Killer base, ready to do a kaboom, everyone. Down into a crouch pose. After three, big kaboom jump. Ready? One, two, three, kaboom! Now the Resistance can destroy the Star Killer base. Standing all the way up, Kylo Ren, Rey, and Finn climb up to the surface of the planet. Let's climb. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Once they get to the top, they have a duel. But Finn can't defeat Kylo Ren. It's up to Rey. She takes one step forward, one step back, and she stretches her arms wide as she grabs the Luke Skywalker's lightsaber into her grip. She brings it into her heart and she switches it on. Then she takes her Jedi Warrior One pose, turning to the side, bending your front knee, and swoop your lightsaber up above your head. Kylo Ren runs in to attack her, but Rey opens up into her Jedi Warrior Two pose, and she defeats him. All of a sudden, the planet begins to crumble and crack. They need to escape, so they jump back on board the Millennium Falcon, jumping down to crouch. Ready? One. Two, three, boing. Now the Resistance celebrate the defeat of the First Order. But back home, Princess Leia on her knees, with Chewbacca and Rey put their hand on their tummy, their hand on their chest. They feel sad about the death of Han Solo. But as they rest here, R2-D2 suddenly wakes up coming into your dog pose everyone onto your hands and your knees tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky he opens up his secret compartment lifting up your leg all the way up to the sky and bending it over the top and look he's got the rest of the map the map that will lead them to Luke Skywalker rolling up to stand everyone walking your hands back Ray takes big steps across planet Aktu. Big step. And again, big step. Stepping back. She comes to the cave, standing with your feet wide and your hands above your head, where Luke Skywalker has been hiding. Then turning to the side, down on one knee, out of respect to the most senior Jedi, Luke Skywalker, Ray lifts and hands him back his lightsaber. Slowly lie yourself back now. Ray's mission is accomplished. We take our arms and our legs down long and we rest our bodies here. What an adventure. What a story. And from that story we learnt that real power lies not in fighting, but in how well we know ourselves and how well we understand others. We learn about ourselves by understanding what we're afraid of and learning ways to help ourselves when hard feelings come up. When we can breathe, we can be calm and we can focus exactly on what we need to do. That's where real power lies. So listen to your body steady your mind and the force will be strong in you slowly we wiggle our fingers we wiggle our toes and we bring our knees into our chest as we give them a nice cuddle 
We roll over onto our side and we push ourselves up to sit with our legs crossed just as we started and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done everyone. Thanks for doing Star Wars The Force Awakens with me. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Oh, wasn't that amazing? You did so well in The Force Awakens. And look who we're here with now. It's none other than Yoda. My wisest friend loves a bit of yoga, don't you Yoda? Namaste, I love the yoga. <laughs> yes, obviously a bit quiet, lost in thought at the moment. Well, let's finish everyone with a little namaste, bringing our hands together at our hearts. And after three, you can join in if you like Yoda. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done everyone, you did awesomely on the Star Wars Yoga Mix and I hope to see you again soon for another one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. Bye! Don't forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday!